the code that I have for you today can save you a lot of time and a lot of efforts. So let's say if we have 100 worksheets in a single workbook and now you want to split all of these worksheets into a separate workbook. So if you do this manually, you need to spend a lot of time. But with this code, you can do it with a single click. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And now let's get started. All right, so let me start off with the file that I have in my folder. And this folder is basically saved on my desktop. And when I open this folder, I have this file with the name main file. And this file is saved as a macro enabled file. Now, when I open this file, I have 100 worksheets where I have this small set of data with single entry. And now, as I said, I want to split all these worksheets into separate workbooks. And for this, I'm going to use a VBA code and this VBA code I have already written in my notepad. So I'm going to copy this from here and in the workbook, in my workbook, I'm going to go to developer tab. And if you don't have the developer tab in your workbook, you can go to file and then go to options. And from there, you can go to customize ribbon and you need to tick mark developer from here and then click OK and you'll get your developer tab here on the ribbon. Now in the developer tab, you need to click on the visual basic to open the visual basic editor. So visual basic editor is the place where you write your VBA code. So I'm going to click on it and here I need to insert a new module. So I'm going to go to insert and click on module. And here I have my code window and here I'm going to paste my code just like this. And now before I tell you how this code works, let's run this code and see how this code actually works and how it splits all the worksheets into different workbooks. So this code will use the name from each worksheet and convert it into a separate workbook. So I'm going to run this code. It will take a few seconds, maybe, you know, almost a half a minute or maybe a full minute depends on the speed of your system. So here we have the run button and I'm going to click on it. And here I have the message. All sheets have been saved as a separate workbook. And now I'm going to click OK and I'm going to minimize my workbook. And here I have my folder where I have all the worksheets splitted into different workbooks. And let me count it as we had one workbook already here. And now let me select all the worksheets and let me see the count. So we have one zero one. That means we have a hundred new workbooks. All right. So now it's time to understand how this code actually works. Now in this code, I have few variables that I use to save a few things, but the actual code starts from this line. So this line of code takes the path of the current folder. So my main file is saved in the same folder and this line of code will take the path of this folder that file the path of that file and then it runs a loop that goes to each sheet one by one so when it goes to the first sheet it inserts a new workbook just like this and then this line of code copies that worksheet and paste it to the new workbook and after that let's say if i do it manually if i click on move and copy and click on create a copy and then select the new workbook and you can see i have this worksheet into the new workbook and then the next line of code application dot display alerts disable the alerts that you get while doing something in excel and then this line of code deletes the worksheet that you already have in the new workbook and that is why it disables the alerts so when i right click and then go to delete it shows me this alert and that is why it disables these alerts so that it can delete the worksheet, the black worksheet without any problem, without showing you anything. So when I click on delete, it deletes the worksheet, which is blank. Now the next line of code enables the display alert because the use of disabling the alerts is only for deleting the blank worksheet and then once you have this worksheet in the new workbook, this line of code takes the path from this variable where I have the path of the folder where my main file is saved. It takes that path and use the name of the worksheet. 
the worksheet which I have copied from the main file and then use the extension of the Excel file that is .xlsx and save it to the same path, same folder and then this line of code save the changes and close the workbook and this loop runs for 100 times. If you have 200 worksheets, it will run this loop 200 times. If you have 10 worksheets, it will run the loop for 10 times. And once the entire loop is finished, it will show you this message box that says all the sheets have been saved as separate workbooks. So this code looks like quite complicated, but it's pretty simple that it goes to each sheet, create a new work, copy that sheet to that new workbook, save it, that's it.